So, is biomass the energy source of the future? Well, as we just heard, those scientists in Jülich are very optimistic, but some experts take a more sober view. Joining us in the studio is Professor Bernhard Schink, a microbiologist from the University of Constance. Professor Schink, thank you very much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. Now, you yourself are a co-author of a study that's actually carried out for the German National Academy of Sciences, the Leopoldina, um, and the report is called Bioenergy, Chances and Limits. Um, now, we've seen some of the chances in this report. What about the limits? Well, we have to realize that the efficiency of energy transformation by green plants is very limited. Of uh, the sun irradiation that reaches the plant, only 1% is converted into biomass. And the further treatment of the uh, biomass into energy carriers uh, leads to further losses. Uh, on the other hand, if you think of, for instance, photovoltaics, which has efficiencies in the range of uh, 15 percent, then the biomass production is by at least one order of magnitude off. So even if we could slightly increase the productivity of plants, as suggested mm -hmm. in this program, it will still be far away from what other techniques can really uh, yield. Okay, energy from biomass not, might not compare to, uh, for example, photovoltaics, but for example, it has some advantages. For sure. So uh, bioenergy has the advantage that it can be stored and right. it can definitely contribute a part to our uh, energy needs. Uh, if, for instance, uh, waste materials, leftovers in agriculture and so on are being used as feed for bioreactors, but with that, we are somewhere in the range of perhaps 5% of our energy needs that we can cover this way. Everything beyond that uh, is not uh, really on a long-term uh, perspective uh, bearable for the environment. Since whenever we uh, carry out intensive agriculture, uh, we also use fertilizers and so on, which contribute to uh, greenhouse gas production. Of course. Now, your own report has actually made recommendations to policymakers. What was the most important piece of advice that you could give them? Our main message was not to increase bi uh, biomass production any further for energy needs, uh, rather to concentrate on waste and leftover materials and of course as well to save energy and cut down on our energy needs. That is a very important area. But despite that, biomass still looks set to stay. Um, what about, in, in your opinion, uh, what is the most efficient way to use it? Uh, the most efficient technology to use biomass is the formation of biogas rather than biodiesel or uh, bioethanol. Uh, because the biogas production already covers the entire plant material uh, rather than only the starchy parts of the plants that can be used for ethanol production, for instance. So there the efficiency is substantially higher and the technology is there. It's easy. Professor Schink, thank you so much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today.